Welcome back to Suja South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash as always, and today you guys join me inside this very beautiful blue Haval Julian S. So S is new to the lineup range of the Julian. So this year, Haval South Africa released the Julian S around January or so, and then a couple of weeks later, they released the HEV. So that's the the hybrid version of this one as well. So we're gonna get that out on test in the next month. I have that vehicle booked for next month. So, speak about the Haval Jalen S. What is the Haval Jalen S? So, basically, what Haval did is took the wonderful Jalen that's been selling so well, seeing the, the ones that you guys are seeing on the streets, um, and just changed a few things and made it a bit more sportier, look much better. So, for example, Haval went ahead and changed the front grille, made it look very nice. Um, it's different compared to the Havals that have been um, being sold in South Africa. And then they went and made the wheels black so depending on your color coding it looks very beautiful so there's this gray um gray silver color that's in fleet that um my friend Utile had on test and that's the one i really wanted because it looks so beautiful so i didn't know that there's, there's this blue one and this blue one as well looks very beautiful so i do like the vehicle so let's pick about the power figures and then speak about the drive of the car well i told you about the looks of the car it looks very nice in front the side profile as well looks good the back actually before we speak about the drive of the car the back was one way i was not too sure about so i didn't necessarily like it like i've all you learned in general i just not sure that the back looks a bit weird but since i've had this vehicle for a week and i've been seeing it every day when i wake up get in the car wake up get in the car so i started liking the vehicle you know the look of it at the back so now the power figures of this vehicle this car is powered by 1.5 liter turbo um turbo petrol producing 130 kilowatts and 270 newton meters of torque that's enough power for this vehicle but the downfall for this vehicle is its fuel economy so i think it's because of the the size of the of the engine and the, on the body of the vehicle so as well Haval hasn't perfected the fuel efficiency of their vehicles without the hybrid versions of their cars so the hybrid versions they do wonders they do the most yeah, i think we all know about that they do the most even the hev of this one is quite fuel efficient but the problem is when it's just a standalone um petrol engine that's where Haval tends to struggle so same thing with the with the the 86 gt we had on test last year that as well struggled with fuel efficiency but it has race mode and all that so we just let it pass for that for this one as well fuel efficiency is a problem in this vehicle so i've been averaging just hold on i'll tell you how much i'm currently averaging so right now i am currently averaging 9.3 and then when the vehicle came to me i was averaging t it, it was it was averaging 10.9 and then I brought it down to 10.2 and then over the, the course of the week, it went down to like 9.2 or so. So I haven't seen an 8. I only saw an 8 when I went to the highway, then I reset everything. And then the car was playing early 8s, mid 8s. But once you drive city, you drive like this, and that's when fuel efficiency went up. So I don't like the fact that this car lacks in terms of fuel efficiency. Because in every aspect, the car is perfect. You have space. It looks very beautiful interior-wise. You have this nice green. And what I like about the instrument cluster is this very nice instrument cluster. It's not the one where in the 86, it's just like a smaller screen of the main infotainment system. So they did... I like how things are done here. So I have all perfected everything about this vehicle the size of it you know everything but the problem is the fuel efficiency and just a few more things so things i don't like about this vehicle let's speak about the, the things i don't like about this car one the fuel efficiency of this vehicle that's definitely number one that i that i don't like about this vehicle um i'm not sure you guys can hear that but this is actually new um they just made in a new street so it's quite loud so one i don't like the fuel efficiency two i don't like the fact that the rear the tailgate is not electric it's and it's quite heavy so when you close it you need to have you know you need like my dad's like my dad said you need to have eaten that day eaten and you know so to say you can close the boot properly so i don't like the fact that the boot is not electric because it's a heavy boot and sometimes you close and it won't close like it will still you need to lift it up and close it again so i don't like the second thing i don't like about the vehicle the third thing i don't like about the vehicle is literally things that a lot of people complain about this car doesn't have a lot of physical buttons so things like a physical volume button you don't have that that's something i don't like about the car now on to the three things i like about the vehicle ah, there's quite a few three, three things i like about the vehicle one i like the look of the vehicle it looks very beautiful for what it is the car looks very nice um i like that about the car the second thing i like about the vehicle 
is the overall fit and finish of the vehicle it feels very good where where i'm sitting where i am right now it feels very good the car does do the most so so let me let me do a quick u-turn test in the turning circle as well will it impress me almost 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 have all almost you almost made it but i'm not i'm not too mad at the turning circle so there's a the second thing i like about the car third thing i like about the vehicle is its sensors in terms of the camera quality of of the vehicle the camera quality of this vehicle is out of those worlds to die for it looks very beautiful the car looks the business so and it's very in this vehicle it's a, it's very hard for you to crash or to bump something for example so especially when you're reversing because you get this wonderful 360 view camera a high quality front and rear camera so you don't you don't you must never depend on your camera systems but it's good when you're driving or when you're reversing into parking lot so once you've done changing your mood just to check out if the car is all in order so it's a good thing about that the haval makes that work very well now on to you know those three important questions do i like the car would i buy the car would i recommend the car one do i like the car yes i do two would i buy the car yes i would three would i recommend the car yes i would so it's three scores three 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 why i'd recommend the car honestly for the price of the vehicle i'll put the price on the screen and down below for all the half hour models it looks good it gets the job done that is just me showing that there's a huge panoramic sunroof as well um it gets the job done it's perfect pricing as well cars are expensive nowadays but have all nails this one um but i think i'd go for the hev as always but we'll speak about the hev when i have it on test so i like i would recommend it because of that you know and i personally i'm not a suv person per se but have all made sure with this one like they really made sure that i do like this vehicle and honestly i do like it so I do like the car i would recommend it i will tell people to buy it so i hope you guys like the content please tell me what you think about the haval and i have to sign out now um this is me saying bye click the like subscribe if you haven't subscribed follow me on all my social platforms links are in the description box below at switch off sa yeah as i was saying comment down below nikki nash everywhere switch off sa everywhere and yeah we're all over we're coming with the heat this year this year is gonna be a big big year um you guys already seen how we started the year we went to namibia so you never know what we, where we're going next what we're getting next but this is gonna be a big year thank you bigs up to you guys for the the support but yeah that's the have a jolion s for you how about Jol july because it's called july right it's jolion but it's july we know deep down it's july i wonder how the chinese pronounce it yeah july <laughs> bye